asked me if I wanted to participate in a internship program. And um, I was going to go for a week of training at Addie McBride. And after that, I was going to start an internship somewhere. And turned out that the Ark of Mississippi, at the end of that week, we did our week of training. And that following weekend was like the 4th of July weekend when I came back to Jackson. I was um, I started here at the Ark. Um, I was doing a lot of stuff for Miss Kathy, which is our bookkeeper. I was uh, going through like uh, you know just paperwork, uh, matching it, matching receipts, I guess, with um, credit card statements, putting postage on envelopes, and uh, you know making sure they got to the mail, and just a lot of different stuff like that. There's a lot of um, you know, confidence issues, you know, having confidence in yourself, you know, if you, you know, don't really get the opportunity to actually, you know, uh, work or anything, work or, you know, something like that. Um, but um, it's really helped me, you know, grow in confidence and, you know, seeing that, you know, there is, there are opportunities out there, you know, for people with, uh, you know, visual impairments and just people with disabilities. Jesse came to us through the internship. Um, and he was really the first uh, visually um, impaired person that we've had, and he has shown he he showed his worth. He was work. He was reliable. He was always here, and um, so we decided once the internship was up that perhaps he could come in and work part-time answering the phone and helping us with the IT. Well then, he's such a conscientious person that he got some extra training and we um, brought him on full-time so that he could actually um, work on a project that we have with the Department of Medicaid that needs um, some really attention to detail and billing and things like that, and Jesse does that. He's an asset, and people with disabilities can really add something to your organization, to your business, and it's wonderful um, being able to interact. Uh, I greet them when they come in, and if, if they need to know where something is, I help them find where it is. Then they. Mr. Phillip contacted them, and they contacted me. They thought I would be interested in the job, and so that's, a, that's how it happened. I enjoy meeting different people. They've been wonderful in helping me get this, get this job that I enjoy. I, I would say to, to others behind people with this business in the workplace, I would say that everybody deserves a chance to be equal and be independent. That's what I would say. I'm a greeter, and I help people find stuff in the house. And I like being there because of the atmosphere, and they're very nice. When I got my interview, the people there were very nice. Being able to help people and showing other people with disabilities that you can get a job. Well, I like working here. I really like working here a lot. Uh, I enjoyed the camp. Uh, the camp really gave us a good experience. They took us fishing. We learned how to do some stuff like that. Uh, when we got through with the camp, then we had to come back to work and we had to learn the different parts of the job. Learning new things, learn how to fix things. Uh, the staff, I like the staff. The staff are really nice. I'm going to continue to work here. I want to work here as long as I can. Bus, bus tables. I write tables and stuff down. Keep, keep them clean, shoot the hallway and stuff. You know, I'm a good worker. I think it's a, a service that's so badly needed. You've got a group of people that are uh, people with disabilities that need the support. You know, you're always talking about uh, the government getting involved, but in some people, such a bad way, but this is such a good program. You know, these, everybody they've ever worked with with the uh, group has come in. They'll come in and train if there's any problems. They'll come in there. They'll take care of their emotional needs, their physical needs. Uh, if some reason the bus system has a problem, they'll make sure he gets home. A lot of interaction with the families, and it's, it's just a great program. You know, it, it's too bad more programs in as influential and as impactful as they are. I think you're missing out. You know, if, if you don't, if you're not working with this group, 
if you don't have somebody with special needs uh, at a certain position, you're absolutely missing on an incredible uh, staff member, member, somebody that's incredible, uh, positive for your business, and there's productivity out the roof. So I, I think I would take a look, take your time, and just have some patience and time to work with the training and bringing them up to uh, speed. And once they're there, you'll have an employee for life.